Poor Hatsu. She'll likely starve soon. Who are you speaking of? A widow, on the outskirts of Tsutsu. She lives alone and has no means of securing food for herself. I'll check on her. Maybe our island is cursed. Peaceful here. What is this place? I get to prepare Lord Jinroku's back tonight. I thought you were Lord Jin Loku, but you're another samurai. Welcome, my lord. Samurai? You haven't heard of Lord Jinroku? He's a legendary samurai. I'd like to meet him. When will he return? Soon. Join us for dinner. Perhaps he'll share one of his grand stories with you. Ugh. I'm back from my dangerous mission. Don't worry, I'm unharmed. Oh, I wasn't expecting a visitor. We're happy to have you, of course. Hmm. Thank you. I didn't realize any other samurai had survived. It was a fierce battle, wasn't it? The beaches of Komatsu ran red with blood that terrible day. We fought at Komoda. <laughs> of course. Forgive me. I'm tired from a long ride. Please, have Nabe show you the bath. We can speak more over dinner. Please follow me, my lord.
How much do you know of Lord Jinroku? He tells us everything. If it wasn't for him, we would have lost the whole island. When you met him, was he armed? He gave everything to save Tsushima except his horse. It's at the stables. My bath can wait. I want to look at his horse. Farm horse. Never seen battle. Normal tools. Nothing out of the ordinary. I know this saddle. It belonged to Lord Higuchi. Jinroku is no samurai. I'll get the truth from him. Where is Jinroku? He left quickly after you went to the bath. It must have been important. I'll find him. We need to talk. Stop running, you fool! Stop! Before it's too late! I don't want to kill you. Stop! I challenge you to a duel! You want to fight me? Yes. It's the only way. If that's your wish, I accept. I don't want to die. I surrender. I'm sorry. Tell me who you really are. I'm nobody. I was just trying to survive. You're impersonating a samurai and bringing dishonor to the name. And you're taking advantage of those women. I know. Please, my lord, let me live. I'll never go back there again. Leave. And if I ever see you wearing that armor again, we will finish our duel. Tell those women the truth.
Lord Sakai, welcome back. Jinroku wasn't the man you thought. He wasn't a samurai at all. Ah, he told you the truth. You knew he was lying? He seemed harmless, and we enjoy having him around. I hope you didn't kill him. He's alive, but he won't be coming back. I'll tell the others he left on an important mission. We were fine without him. We will be again.
I'll never forget the day he was killed. I could have saved my father. If only I was older, stronger. If I wasn't so afraid. Hello, my lord. I was just remembering the words of my old master Saigyo. To cleanse the spirit, one must first cleanse the body. Hmm. Saigyo was a wise man, who spent too much of his later years singing in the hot springs. But surely you agree his words ring true. The healing waters, purifying steam, and shade from a red maple. Nothing beats a hot spring bath to steal your spirit for battle. I suppose you're right. That's exactly what I need. Susano, protect me. Who killed these people? 
a fearsome warrior. He demanded I tell him the tale of Shigenori's heavenly strike. When he didn't hear the answers he sought, he flew into a rage and butchered them. What did he want to know? I am not sure, my lord. Tell me the story. I need to know what he's after. When Tsushima was first settled, a strange and terrible thunderstorm swept across our island. Wherever lightning struck, beasts of lightning appeared. These violent creatures tore through villages, causing death and destruction, moving too quickly to be stopped. The people knew only one man who could possibly stand against the lightning beasts, Shigenori. The fastest swordsman in all of Tsushima, Shigenori, never lost a duel. With years of practice, he had created the Heavenly Strike, an attack that struck quicker than the eye could follow. Shigenori lured the creatures to a desolate beach in Komatsu, where the sand would slow their movement. Their clash turned the sand to ash, and bleached the leaves of trees white. Shigenori's heavenly strike cut through them faster than they could move. As the final beast fell, the storm cleared, and Tsushima was safe again. Shigenori began a life of seclusion. Few students found him, and only the bravest and most skilled proved worthy of learning the heavenly strike. When a storm approaches, a sword is placed at Shigenori's rest by a student who knows of its location to ward off attacks from beasts of nature. The murderer wishes to learn Shigenori's heavenly strike. It sounds dangerous in the wrong hands. Which way did he go? A woman fled toward a nearby bridge. He chased her. He'll answer for what he did here. <laughs> 